Hey, it's Antip. I personally really like the new concept of where I try to replicate these movie posters or images. So let's try to replicate this. So before we go uh, to the Photoshop, um, definitely if you like these kind of videos, please subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button also, uh, so you'll get always the latest uh, videos that I'm gonna produce. And now let's hit to the Photoshop part. All right, now we start analyzing this image. So there's a couple kissing here. Then it turns into this turquoise uh, white uh, forest in a way. And then there's a guy with a shotgun here in the lower part. And there's a lot of heavy noise in this image. And the background seems to be some kind of like an old worn out paper also with some noise in it. So let's start, start replicating again this. So let's just choose canvas size. I'm gonna put this image in that far end. So I'm gonna double this size, 4050. So it'll be the same on this side. So first we will need that paper uh, texture. So let's see, I have already selected these textures that I'm gonna use. So here's a kind of a pulp paper texture look. I'm gonna place it here. Just going to rotate it here and then gonna place it somewhere and scale it up. So what I need to do now is to try to get these to match these tones. So I'm gonna choose hue saturation, adjustment layer, press the colorize and only the effect the lower part, uh, the only the lower layer. And then let's try to find that warmest tone, saturation slide it down and with the lightness you can kind of find that threshold for your image where you want that to be. Of course doesn't need to be that precise but we will get the edges to look like a bit of a warm worn out paper. So that's the whole thing for this um, image. So now we have to build the uh, bring the couple in here. So, so here's our couple. Copy that into here. What I can do now is to kind of align. So I drop the opacity down. Command T for scale and transform. I'm just trying to modify this to fit in a way the size of that. Keanu and the other person kissing there. So I'm gonna scale it up trying to just match almost these How the faces are the picture is actually quite close. So that's kind of a funny thing So here's our picture and I'm gonna scale the same kind of a area That the background is and then I'm just going to click mask and then I'm just gonna move it in the right place over here and bring the opacity back up. So there's our kissing couple. Actually it could be slightly bigger still as you can see from the face. So the mask still stays on. If you uncheck this link, unclick it. So now actually I can move it around and try to find a better place for that. I'm kind of lifting it slightly more up. Maybe I will scale it slightly and I turn it. Maybe I'll do it somewhere around there. Of course the picture is not the same, but somewhere around there. All right. So next up we need to color grade this part. In a way the woman's face seems to be um, first turning into this turquoise thing and then we're gonna blend it that so let's do first that this color transition I'm gonna make a blank layer on top of this I'm gonna alt click or option click between so that's gonna affect only that layer and I'm gonna sample that kind of a color from here 
and I'm going to press B for brush. And I'm just going to kind of paint some part of the face with that that kind of a shade even with the lower opacity kind of up here uh, like that and I'm gonna put that into blending mode color so that will kind of turn that color into that uh, what we can do also first is to level these uh, the the couple has to be really more, uh, much darker so I'm gonna put an adjustment layer levels on that and I'm going to see definitely darker like that I'm gonna try to find that kind of a how dark this image need to be comparing to the image we have on the on the other side I think that starts to look somewhat there and then we need also select this one and drop the saturation hue saturation and we're gonna lower the saturation also down okay so now you can see that the skin part is starting to be uh, somewhat okay but now we're gonna do this part over here this gradient um, so we're gonna make a blank layer only the effect that and I'm gonna sample this kind of a color from here B for brush and I'm gonna just to, going to paint that transition I think it needs to be slightly more something along like that I'm gonna put it and I'm going to put more white in here. So there's our transition of that um, gradient in a way. And the color kind of bleeds into this, this area. Next up we need the forest here. So where was my forest? It's here. Command, uh, command A, select all, command C, copy, and then we go from here and then again command V we can clip it on the effect again this stack um, we need to desaturate that shift command U makes it um, desaturated uh, I think blending mode maybe a multiply drop the opacity down command T for transform tool I'm gonna just aim those trees somewhere around there so there we have it I think that is a good place for those branches so and we need to colorize this also to be more turquoise as you can see from here command U Colorize, push the saturation up, and then we're gonna choose that kind of a there we getting somewhat similar tones. Alright. Now we need to do a bit of a masking, so put a mask on and then we're gonna remove that from the the face and also we need to clear the lower part like that so there's our forest in a way next up we need that guy so i have it here select subject makes a kind of rough selection of the guy good enough command c for copy let's bring it here and i'm gonna just Try to match with the other one roughly how big the guy is, something like that, maybe. And I'm gonna bring it here in the center over here. What we need to for do that guy, we need to colorize it. So let's choose use saturation, colorize, 
and all clip here only affect that layer we need to make it more lighter and I think we need to push a bit more blue in it so something like that we need to mask it out mask and B for brush and then we can just tap this lower part so you don't see the legs in a way the vanishing in this mist almost so the next thing we need to do is to colorize these parts as you can see there's a bit of a yellow and then also like a cyan here so I'm trying to get these colors here so let's make a blank layer on top of this over here I'm gonna sample that color and just going to paint it roughly around here and then also this turquoise just going to make this kind of a blend of colors here and then we can what we can do for that is to make it maybe color so that will give a bit of a color over there and let's mask it out from the man's face from here and here and maybe from here but you can see there's a bit of a now color in that part also so what we need next is that to add that noise to the whole image so let's go all the way up a blank layer fill dialog uh, shift and backspace 50% gray fill that and then choose noise add noise and you can add maybe 70 pixels of that noise put it in overlay let's actually put it here and only the effect that stack over here bit too much let's lower the opacity down and we can actually blur the layer blur Gaussian blur and you can see it may, it comes a bit softer but still it's it's noise so there you have it so from this image to this image once again kind of similar of course you can tweak and maybe you learned some some tips or tricks on this video too and if you like uh, please comment please put a thumbs up please subscribe and send me comments what kind of pictures i should try to replicate next time and as always i will be seeing you on my next video cheers